I'm Jess Parnes for GoPSUSports.com and welcome to This Week in Penn State Sports where I'll fill you in on what happened this past week including a lot of achievements for the Nittany Lions as well as what you can expect for the weekend. Congratulations to men's tennis junior Eddie Boucher who was named Big Ten's Co-Athlete of the Week. Boucher earned a total of three wins over ranked opponents this past weekend in singles and doubles action and is the program's first player to earn conference laurels since 2008. Congratulations to freshman Casimir Loxham and junior Carly McQuillan who were named Big Ten Athletes of the Week after their outstanding performances at the Penn Relays last weekend. Loxham clocked the fastest split in the men's 4x800 meter relay while McQuillan took the top honors in the women's javelin competition last weekend in Philadelphia. Loxham is the third Nittany Lion on the men's squad to earn Big Ten honors this year. The Nittany Lions will be back in action this weekend, splitting its squads between the Jesse Owens Invitational at Ohio State on April 30th and May 1st, and the Peyton Jordan Cardinal Invitational at Stanford also on May 1st. Current Nittany Lion basketball associate head coach Kurt Kanaski and former All-American tight end Kyle Brady will be inducted into the West Shore chapter of the Pennsylvania Sports Hall of Fame May 14th. The induction will take place at the Radisson Hotel in Camp Hill. Kanaski has more than 30 years in collegiate coaching and was named the Basketball Times National Coach of the Year twice, PSAC Coach of the Year and NABC District Coach of the Year. Brady, who currently works as a broadcaster with the Big Ten Network, was one of five Nittany Lions to earn first-team All-American honors in 1994 as Penn State posted a perfect 12-0 record, claimed the Lions' first Big Ten title, and cruised to the Lions' first Rose Bowl victory with a 38-20 dusting of Oregon. He went on to a 13-year NFL career with the Jets, Jacksonville Jaguars, and New England Patriots, culminating in Super Bowl 42. Congratulations to both Kanaski and Brady for all their achievements. Penn State All-America tackle Dennis Landolt has signed with the New York Giants on the heels of six Nittany Lions that were selected in last weekend's NFL Draft. A 2009 first-team All-Big Ten selection, Landolt joins former Nittany Lions Jay Alford and Kareem McKenzie on the Giants roster. Congratulations to Landolt as well as all other Nittany Lions heading to the NFL this fall. Penn State football will hold its 36th annual summer camps this June featuring two offense, defense skills and fundamentals camps for athletes as well as seniors only camp. For more information on the Penn State football camps, please visit www.pennstatefootballcamps.com or call the Penn State Sports Camps office at 814-865-0561. This week in Penn State Sports, we'll be back after this brief message. Penn State fans, the EIVA Championship is set for this Saturday at Rec Hall. Come out and see the Princeton Tigers take on your Nittany Lions at 7 p.m. Saturday. Penn State students, you get in free with your ID with tickets available at the door. See who will be crowned the 2010 EIVA Champion, the Princeton Tigers, or your Penn State Nittany Lions. 7 p.m. Saturday night at Rec Hall, the EIVA Championship. For more information, visit GoPSUSports.com. Penn State baseball hosts Big Ten rival Michigan State this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Fans, don't forget Saturday's game is Penn State's Wounded Warrior game against the Spartans with the first pitch set for 2.05 p.m. The game was developed to help create awareness of wounded warriors and their sacrifices while providing useful services to meet the needs of severely injured service members and their families. Fans can make a difference as $1 of each single game and group ticket will be donated to the Wounded Warrior Project. Special Penn State Baseball camo t-shirts will be available as well for just $10 with proceeds going to Chris Wales to help him compete and travel to his competitions. There will also be a silent auction on the concourse with every penny donated going to the Wounded Warrior Project. To get involved and learn more, visit www.woundedwarriorproject.org and purchase your tickets today. The Penn State men's lacrosse team will host the Delaware Blue Hens in its regular season finale this Friday at 7.30 at Jeffrey Field. The contest will be preceded by senior night activities for the Nittany Lions. Penn State needs a win against Delaware to be able to grab the number four seed for the upcoming 2010 CAA Men's Lacrosse Championships Tournament. If the Lions can secure the number four seed, they will play the number one seed Towson on Wednesday, May 5th. The women's lacrosse team will also host senior day festivities when the Nittany Lions welcome non-conference foe Temple to Jeffrey Field for a 3 p.m. matchup on Saturday. Seniors Teresa Bucci, Stephanie Ellis, Margot Josephs, Marissa Lozano, and Erica Mim will take the field for their final home regular season game in a Penn State uniform. 
best of luck to men's golf as they compete in their Big Ten Championships this weekend. As the semester and regular game seasons come to a close, be sure to check out GoPSUSports.com for all schedule and event information covering all your Nittany Lion teams. GoPSUSports.com has a wide variety of merchandise perfect for any mother this Mother's Day. Also check out Penn State's first annual women's football camp coming this June. More details can be found on GoPSUSports.com. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Jess Parnes.